My name is Dean, and I'm an Applications Engineer for Hawkridge Systems. Today, I'm going to be showing you some of the changes SolidWorks has made to assemblies in 2016. Improvements have been made to the selection process in the mechanical cam mate. When you select one face of the cam, all other faces that form the extruded profile of the cam are automatically selected. Previously, you had to select each face individually, or right-click one face and select Tangency. As we already know, we can hide components by pushing the tab button while the cursor is over the component in the graphics area, and show the component by pressing shift tab. New in 2016 is the ability to temporarily show all hidden bodies as transparent. This new ability is accessed by pressing and holding control, shift, and tab. If that button combination is too much, you can always assign a new hotkey to this feature. The command is called show all the hidden components, inside the customization menu. Selection breadcrumbs are available at the assembly level as well. They are a context-based view of the current selection and show related elements up and down the tree. It's like having a pop-up selection filter. As you can see, when I click on this face, I have the option to select the sketch, face, feature, body, part, sub-assembly, or the top-level assembly. Above the part selection, you can see all the mates that affect the part, and hovering over that mate will highlight the corresponding entity in the graphics area. Left-clicking on an item will select it, but right-clicking on an item will give you the same shortcut menu as the Feature Manager design tree. Pushing the hotkey D will move the breadcrumb bar to your cursor. This hotkey can be changed and is called Move Controls to Pointer in the Customization menu. The next change I'm going to show you is within the Selection Filters. Inside the size selection, a dynamic selection box has been added, as well as a tally for the number of components selected. With the dynamic selection box checked on, the graphics area will adapt to the percent of assembly size slider. Parts within the selection criteria will be highlighted to display the selection, and the selected count will be shown at the bottom of the window. A new selection criteria called Select Identical Components is new to 2016. This selection does what its name implies and will select all instances of the part you initially selected. Inside the Property Manager, there is an option to refine the selection process even further by matching the configuration of the initially selected part. New in 2016 is an option within the Mate Property Manager. There is a checkbox that says Make the First Selection Transparent, and what the option does is what the name implies. It will change the transparency of the first component selected to Mate, in order to make the second selection easier. An amazing new feature in 2016 is the Component Preview Window. To activate the Preview Window, click on a component and select the icon that looks like a part inside of a browser window. Once the Preview Viewport is activated, you can rotate, zoom, and make selections in that window. Notice how the viewports are linked, and any entity I hover over is highlighted in both windows. This is a handy tool for making the mating process easier and more streamlined. Hitting the Exit Preview button will close the Preview Viewport. The final improvement that I'm going to talk about today is globally replacing failed mate references. As you can see in this assembly, the knob parts are mated concentrically using the same cylindrical face. I'm now going to break these mates by making a change to the part. By unsuppressing the Revolve feature, the face that the mate is referring to no longer exists. When I switch back to my assembly and rebuild, the removal of the cylindrical face is causing an error in the two concentric mates. To fix these errors, I'm going to expand the mates folder and replace the mate entities. Once I select a new face for the mate and click OK, I'm prompted with a dialog box asking me if I want to replace the other missing references with the one listed below. Hitting the Yes button will replace the missing face with the selected face for all the mates that reference that first cylindrical face. This cleared up my other mating error, which cut my troubleshooting time in half. The dialog box that appeared to make the mate replacement global is only available in the 2016 version of the software. So, in this video, I've shown you some of the changes SolidWorks has made to assemblies in 2016, like the cam mate selection enhancement, the Show All Hidden Bodies keyboard shortcut, breadcrumbs, size and identical selection filters, making components transparent when mating, the component preview window, and globally replacing failed mate references. If you like this video, 
found the information useful or want to see others like it, please subscribe to our channel.